So Arsenal women face Manchester City here at Meadow Park this weekend in a really, really big WSL game. In this video, we're going to look ahead to that. Just before we get going, just want to make sure that you are subscribing to my channel. If you do enjoy some coverage of the Arsenal women, as well, of course, as everything that's going on with the men's team, please get the subscribe button. It is free of charge. It does help the channel to reach a larger audience. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like as well. Share the content around and please drop your comments in the box as well what your thoughts are ahead of this big game for the Arsenal women. <laughs> Hello, my name is Richard. Welcome back to my channel. Over and over and over again, the Arsenal podcast. I say we're going to be looking ahead to Sunday's big WSL game here at Meadow Park between Arsenal and Manchester City. We're going to look at previous meetings, we're going to look at current form, we're going to look at a little bit of history of the Manchester City women's team, have a look at their coach as well, and then we're going to have a look at the team lineups and give a score prediction as well. All that's coming up the other side of this. <laughs> So in history, the Arsenal women and Manchester City have played each other on 22 occasions in all competitions. Arsenal have won nine, there's been one draw, and Manchester City have won 12. In fact, City have had the upper hand in recent years. They've won four of the last six league meetings, including both games last season, which both finished in 2-1 victories for City, both times with a late goal as well. Although we did beat Manchester City 2-1 in the semi-final of the Continental Cup. That was in 2020 before, of course, we did lose to Chelsea in the final. In terms of current form, then Manchester City have only won one of their four games in all competitions this season, which has included seeing them get knocked out of the Champions League in the qualifiers. They did lose over two legs to Real Madrid. They drew 1 1 away from home uh, before losing 1 0 at home in the second leg. Their only victory came in the opening weekend of the WSL season when they won 4 0 at Everton and their most recent game they did lose 2-1 at home to Tottenham a rather controversial defeat it was their first home defeat since 2019 in fact away from home they've got a really good record their last defeat away came almost a year ago in October 2020 away at Chelsea in fact their last three away defeats in the WSL have all come in London two against Chelsea and one here of course at Meadow Park which was in May 2020 when Arsenal did win by a goal to nil <laughs> The Manchester City women then were formed in 1988. It's only really been in recent years when they've gone full-time professional and they have started to win a few trophies. They've won one WSL title. That was in 2016 where they went through the whole season unbeaten. They've won the Women's FA Cup on three occasions in 2017, 2019 and 2020. And they've won the Continental Cup as well on three occasions. That was in 2014, 2016 and 2019. They've actually been runners up in the league for the last four consecutive seasons. In fact, they finished second five of the last six seasons. The only exception to that run being in 2016, as I say, when they did win the title. They have reached the semi-final of the Champions League in 2017 and also in 2018. And for a while, they held the record attendance in the WSL as well. Where over 31,000 fans were there to see them play Manchester United, and that was in September 2019. <laughs> So the Manchester City coach then is Gareth Taylor. He's been in charge since May 2020 when he succeeded Nick Cushing, who was their first full-time coach. And he did go on to win the FA Cup just a few months later when they beat Everton in the final. Taylor started out, he was a former head of youth development in Dubai for Manchester City. He was also under-16s coach from 2012 until, I say, he was appointed head coach of the women's team in May 2020. <laughs> Of course, it's going to be a case of friends reunited in this game. There's a lot of players who have played for both clubs in recent years. Currently in the Manchester City squad are former Arsenal players Ruby Mace, Chloe Kelly, Steph Houghton, of course, Ellen White and Vicky Lasada as well. While in the Arsenal team, there'll be a couple of ex-Manchester City players as well. Jem Beattie and, of course, Nikita Paris, who just joined Arsenal this summer from Leon, So there's a few players in who will be very familiar with each other in this game on Sunday, which may well make a difference. Oh, 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 
So then, in terms of the lineups, I'm not expecting too many changes from Arsenal following their two WSL victories already this season. So I think it's going to be Zinsberger in goal. I think the back four will be Moritz, Williamson, BT, and McCabe. I think the three in midfield uh, will probably be Little, Manham, and Leo Walty. And then the three up front, it's going to be Mead, Amaya, Mead, and possibly Iwabachu as well. And of course, Nikita Paris could feature as well. Of course, on the bench as well, we're likely to see Tobin Heath, the new signing who has arrived at the club this week. Not quite sure she's going to be ready to start. And also, Jordan Nobbs could be back as well following her injury that she suffered in pre-season. Of course, talking of injuries, Man City have had a lot of injuries to deal with at the moment. They're missing quite a few players. This was how they lined up against Tottenham last week. It was um, Bia Muir in goal. Their back four was Morgan Houghton, Kennedy and Greenwood. Although, of course, Morgan will be out following an injury that she suffered in that game. In midfield, they had the side of Coombs and Stanway. And up front, it was Becky, White and Hemp. Of course, Scott as well could feature in midfield as well. As we said, Mace, Weir as well. Park could feature in there, front three as well. So, Man City have yeah, still got a few options. They've still got a strong squad. Of course, Demi Stokes at the back as well. And, of course, Shaw, who did score in that opening day victory over Everton. So we'll see what their lineups likely to be. But that's that are the teams I'm expecting to see in this game. Well, it's going to be a good marker for Arsenal if we can get a victory here against Manchester City, having already beaten Chelsea um, in the first game of the season. So to beat the two title rival so early on would be a really great start, wouldn't it? And it's probably a good time to be playing Manchester City. They have got a few problems, a few injuries whereas we seem to have a much more settled side and we've got a couple of players to come back into the squad as well. So I'll be very surprised if we don't win this game. Can't take it for granted, of course, Manchester City are a good side. They do have a strong squad, but I do think we'll win this. I think it's going to be quite a tight game. I think it's going to be tense. I think Man City will give everything to bounce back from that defeat last week. But I do think Arsenal come out on top. My predicted score is Arsenal women 2, Manchester City women 1. So please stay tuned to the channel because I've got um, a couple of good watch-alongs coming up over this weekend. North London derby, of course, at the Emirates. I'll be going live at quarter past four for a half past four kickoff, And then straight after that, we'll be here at Meadow Park for the Arsenal women. And they'll be playing, of course, against Manchester City. I'll be doing a watch-along of that game as well. This will go live about 20 to 7 for a quarter to 7 kickoff. Uh, and then, of course, we'll also have some special footage, actually, from the game. We've got our correspondent, Harry, is at the is at the game on Sunday. He'll be taking some footage, which we'll get up on the channel, hopefully, on Monday. So, loads of great stuff coming up. If you've done so already, please give the subscribe button. It is free of charge. It does help the channel to grow. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like as well. Please share the content around. We don't only cover the Arsenal men on this channel. We also cover the Arsenal women as well. Some great stuff that they've been producing for us this season and some great shows that we've been putting out as well. So I say, please get involved if that's something that you might enjoy. So thanks for watching. Stay, stay tuned to the channel. Please give it a like and subscribe. And in the meantime, of course, as we head towards a, a massive weekend for Arsenal, both the men and the women, come on, you gunners. Two wins, please, on Sunday. Let's do this. Wow. Wow. Wow.